hi from the future. It is now nighttime, but I started vlogging this morning because it was a slow Saturday. No, that's a lie already. It was a slow Sunday for me. And I hesitate to say welcome to Vlogmas because Caitlin and I have said that we don't want to commit to Vlogmas because we're absolutely not going to be able to put up a video every single day. But unofficially welcome to Vlogmas, I guess, because it is December 1st. And I know a lot of you guys have requested this. It's really fun for me and it's fun for Caitlin to film just behind the scenes of our daily lives because it's easy. It doesn't have to be curated. I can look like this and uh, you guys seem to really enjoy it. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I got into today. It wasn't anything that exciting, I can tell you that. So as you can probably tell, I just got out of the shower. You're gonna see me pre, pre being clean, uh, but without makeup the whole day. So, you know, just brace yourself for that. Any other housekeeping things? We have a new regular like main video that went up today and it's all about festive slash holiday accessories. We talk about a lot of different stuff in the video. So we've got hats, we've got coats, earrings, other jewelry, other fun things that we're just using to help get ourselves in the holiday spirit. So go ahead and give that a watch. Again, unofficially slash official happy vlogmas i'm really excited for this time of year so hope you stick around for all the fun holiday content that caitlin and i have planned for you hope you enjoy watching what i think is a fairly boring day i forget it literally did it today and i can't even remember what it is so i'm gonna go watch some hallmark christmas movies and eat dinner that mike made for us and i hope you enjoy the video and we will see you and the next one, I don't know when it's gonna be because we're so busy this week. We have, I think we have events every single day this week, except for Monday. <sighs> I'm tired already. I'm tired of just thinking about it. <laughs> but it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be great. We're gonna try to show you as much as we can. Okay, bye. This morning's coffee is in this really fun mug that says, astrology, take the wheel, logic, you had your chance. I work in astronomy. And so my boss actually got this for me and I thought it was super funny. Uh, she knows that I would appreciate this kind of humor. I hear a puppy. Oh, hi. Come here. Okay, bye-bye. Good morning. Sit. Oh, that's a good boy. Oh, thanks. As much as I want to be one of those people whose house is always like perfectly clean every time you see their vlog or their Instagram stories, that's not my house. I don't even have kids. I don't know how people with kids do it to be completely honest. So I just went and got my nails done, not at the place that I went the last time, which I ended up really loving them. If you're in the Baltimore area, I went to Serenity Nails on Falls Road across from Lake Roland. But they're not open on Sundays, which kind of sucks. So I went to Manny Lux of the Rotunda. I had, it's like very hit and miss for me there. Today was a hit because the girl who took off my dip manicure didn't use the drill. And I love when they don't use the drill. I think it's so damaging for your nails. I also just think it's a way that they are trying to rush the process. I much prefer to sit there for 10 or 15 minutes while you let it soak off because it's less damaging to my nails. So she did that. I will say I have like some paint and glue like right there. Like it's kind of like that on a lot of fingers. I've tried wiping it off with acetone. Wow, Mike blowing his nose in the shower. But it almost feels like I have super glue on the back of some of my fingers. But I think my nails look really nice. She did a great job. Focus, focus. It's like a burgundy with a little bit of glitter in it. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see the glitter. These are my natural nails. I just got, I mean, they're getting quite long, but I got a dip powder again, which I don't recommend doing all the time. I don't think it's good for your nails. They just doesn't allow them to breathe. In fact, when she took off the last dip, I was like, oh my God, wow, it feels so, feels so good. This will be good for hopefully three weeks, fingers crossed. But the color I got is from Perfect Match and the shade is called Headliner. It's just like a, purpley maroon with 
purpley maroon glitter flecks all throughout it. So I think it looks nice. It's very, uh, very holiday appropriate. So I did that and Mike went to the gym. It's quite a little date in the middle of the afternoon. And now I'm going to pick up all the crap that's all over our house because we posted Friendsgiving. We've traveled for Thanksgiving. We've had busy work weeks since last Saturday. So I feel like the house is a little bit neglected. It's not bad, it's just shit strewn about. So yesterday was Small Business Saturday and Mike and I went to one of our favorite wineries in the area, which is called, called, is called Old Westminster. It's called Old Westminster Winery. It's in Westminster, Maryland. And we're members there, we're crew members, which means every three months we get a, an allotment of wine that they select for the club members. I think some of them are exclusive to club members. How many times can I say club members? And yesterday we had a bit of a free afternoon after Caitlin and I filmed and we went to Westminster to pick them up and to share a bottle while we were there. I also picked up a few other sneaky treats while we were there. So I thought I would show you what I got and show you my top recommendations for Old Westminster wine because they are so delicious. It's owned and operated by a family and they're all lovely people. They're all so friendly and nice and they have a couple of other businesses as well. And one of them is Better Wine, which you may have seen on our channel many times before on our Instagram, like a half a dozen times probably because it is canned sparkling wine that has no sugar added. So it's like low carb and not as heavy as it would be to drink like a regular canned wine. It's a little bit more fizzy and lighter in taste. So that's like another business that they have. And we have a discount code for that if you're interested. They do ship to many states now, which is a little bit of a new thing for them. So we'll leave that below. I think that could be a great gift for someone. In fact, I think a wine club membership would be an excellent gift. And I don't mean like wink. I mean, I've done it before. I do it occasionally now but I don't think that the wine is as good as it would be if you, you know, want to support a local winery. Hi. Yo, what up? Is it in your bag? Your gym bag? Your gym bag's upstairs. Is it in the bathroom? No. Is it in there? In the drawer? Yep. Oh my God. I thought I grabbed my wallet. And you like to get on to me for losing things. Puff, please, spare me. Do you remember what was in our allotment, hun? So usually when you go do a tasting there, they don't typically let you taste the wine club picks, do they? They're like exclusive offers. They might, I think they just make like limited batches of this. So we got the 2016 black. And it says here that this is a 75% Cabernet Sauvignon, 12.5% Petit Verdot, and 12.5% Syrah. Aged in French oak barrels for 18 months. Holy cow, I'm gonna love this. I already know it. We have the old one. I think. We have? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. Then we got a Petit Verdot, which is one of my very favorite blends. And it's not one that you really see in Maryland. So this also has 15% Cabernet Franc to contribute finesse and aromatic complexity. Also aged in French oak barrels for 18 months. This is gonna be a goodie, I can tell. I don't think we've had a Petit Verdot for them, from them. And then the last one that came in our package was this little baby. And I'm not gonna to try to say it because someone's gonna read me to filth. Vindu Naturel. It sounds like it's a natural wine. It's barrel aged. It's a white dessert wine, which the only white dessert wine I've ever had is an Iceling, and this says that it is from Muscat grapes, fortified with estate spirits, aged for 18 months. I love their packaging, like this packaging with the beautiful cursive writing on it. I just think it looks so classic, and this bottle is adorable. So I have no idea what we're gonna do with this. Then we picked up a couple more because we were there. And we opened this one yesterday. It's the Tapestry, and this is 61% Cabernet Sauvignon, 13% Petit Verdot, and 13% Merlot, and 13% Syrah. So it's a, it's a red blend, and it's great. We drank most of it yesterday. On the tasting menu was this Franc Fizz, which is a sparkling Cabernet Franc. Mike and I love Cabernet Franc, and I really love fizzy wines, and this I think, is it a natural wine? 
I don't know if it's considered a natural wine, but it is um, unfiltered. So it, is that natural? It says it's got minimal intervention. So they just kind of let it do its thing, I think is how that means. Really cool packaging with the wax seal. You just pop it off. I have had a couple of their sparkling like pet nats, petalent natural. I don't know. I just drink it. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Be careful when you open it, especially a red like this, because it was stained. But even Mike liked it, and he doesn't really love bubbly things. I will say the level of fizz in this is far less than any Prosecco or champagne that you're going to buy. It's not as fizzy or effervescent. So we bought that. And then a couple that we had at home already that are go-to favorites. This is Mike's favorite, right? The Hilltop Road? I think so. He loves this one, so we always pick up a bottle if we're out. It's 50% Cabernet Franc, 25% Merlot, 25% Cabernet Sauvignon. Delicious. It's a go-to. I feel like they have it on the menu quite often. Uh, another one we had in our stash is this Gruner Vetliner. Vetliner? Vet... Gruner. <sighs> It's a Gruna, and it's, a, it's grown on a limestone hillside in Western Maryland. It's a great white wine. I don't really know what else to say about it. I like it. Then, if you have been a watcher of our channel for a while, I know I talked about Better Wine, which is their sister company, but they also, at Old Westminster, make canned wines like this in this fun packaging. Isn't this the coolest thing you've ever seen? So they've got whites, they've got reds, they have rosés. Caitlin and I have tried them all, except for this one, and it's called Happy Camper, and it's a kid, kindred cider made from freshly pressed, God, I cannot read. Pressed. Made from freshly pressed heirloom apples, and it's fermented with native yeast, aged in American oak casks. So I'm excited for this. Mike and I wanted to get this before our last camping trip because Hello, happy camper. Ooh. Go for it, hon. Oh my God, I bought a lot of stuff. Then, and then I bought their mulled wine because I had been seeing this on their Instagram feed and they kept saying how when they had it the last time, it sold out pretty quickly. So when I saw it on the countertops, I was like, I need to buy that. And it's just a sustainably grown, oh, sustainably grown. I bet you all their shit sustainably grown. Mm -hmm. Anyways, mulled wine, please refrigerate for up to one month, gently warm before serving. I'm excited for this. And it came in this cute little mason jar, which we will absolutely use as a drinking glass because it's perfect. And then, <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> we were in Southern Maryland for Thanksgiving and we went on a family hike on Black Friday. Like I. Don't even, can't even believe we're those people. Opt outside. Opt out, we did, op oh my God, we opted outside just like REI wants us to. Oh, I didn't even think about that, hun. Yeah, we didn't do any shopping. I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud of my whole family, we did great. So we stopped at the Port of Leonard Town Winery on our way back from our hike, and a couple of my cousins and my aunt and I did a tasting, and the one that I really liked from there was the 2018 Barbera. It's a dry red. I love Barbera. Again, it's one of those wines that I don't feel like is as popular. You don't find it in as many places. And then we already cracked into this one as well, and it's the 2018 Vidal Blanc. It is a dry white wine. It says that it pairs well with uh, blah, 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 oysters, rockfish, or crab, or it's great if you just drink it around a fire, which is what we did. We should drink this and this other open one. Okay? Sure. Okay, that's my wine haul. Gotta find room for it somewhere in our wine cabinet, which I should show you that because that's a giant disaster. It needs to be cleaned out probably. What do you think, Barkles? Come here, come here. Get ready to be a star in the show because everybody wants to see you, even though you need to be brushed. Oh, you're so sweet. Hi guys, I missed you. <laughs> Oh, you're like a little human. It's like a little teddy bear. Okay, go ahead. This is our wine cabinet. It was sold in an antique store as a TV cabinet, but when Mike and I saw it, we were like, no, no, we'll make this a bar. So that's what we did. And it sits in our living room upstairs. And I love that the, I don't know if you just saw that, but I love that the arms, not the arms, the doors fold flat against, like they're flush with the cabinet. So we kind of just throw all of our barware and like 
fancy tablecloths in here. Not that we're fancy, but a lot of different drinkware is at the top. Some of this is a mess from Caitlin and I. Like, I think I bought the cheers, she bought the blah, blah, blah. So anyhow, we have all that stuff up top. And then I bought these wine glass holders on Amazon and we just screwed them into the top here like you see at a restaurant and we hang our stemmed glassware there. Then on this level, we primarily keep our wine. Don't judge us for the Sutter home. <laughs> Mike said he was embarrassed when he bought it, but uh, it's here just in case anyone wants it. But we have some liquor in here. We have a lot of boardy wines because we're also wine club members there. This whole thing needs, just needs to be organized. I have a huge pineapple drinking container, cheese knives, and I don't know. A whole bunch of shit that just needs to be organized because at this point we're just shoving stuff in here and I forget completely what we have. So I'm gonna make room for this wine. We also have this bar liquor cabinet, which is from Target a really long time ago. I think I got it on clearance for 30 bucks. It doesn't hold the most, but as you can see, we absolutely need it because we have a lot of stuff. Barclays a really big drinker. One of our favorite candle companies is Illum. Caitlin has been diehard for wood fire for, I bet you, a decade. I love that scent as well, but Illum was so kind to send us some of their stuff from their winter collection, which is so kind. And I'm keeping the balsam and cedar candle as well as this beautiful silver Christmas tree candle, which you take the lid off and then boom, there's a winter, I think it's called winter white. Yes, winter white. It's a delicious smelling candle, but because my, not, my tree isn't up yet, I thought I could light this baby today. So Caitlin kept the big wood fire candle for herself, as well as a wick trimmer and a pack of matches. So thank you to Illum for this, that was so nice. These candles to me smell more like exactly what they say than anything else. So balsam and cedar smells exactly like a Christmas tree and cedar. Caitlin kept wood fire, which smells exactly like the best part of a campfire, minus all the smoke. And then winter white, that's hard to describe. It's definitely balsam, but I also smell things like apple cider in it maybe? I'm not sure. We will link everything below. Every time it rains like this in December, I think, ah, if only it were snow. Hello, welcome to my kitchen. I am getting ready to make bean dip. And I know that I could just buy bean dip, but I'm making a recipe as advertised by Emma's thing, Emma Golden on Instagram. And the base of the dip is in fact Frito's bean dip. Now, I love pinto beans. I love bean dip. It's one of my favorite things to eat. Even though it hurts my stomach, I don't even care. Today's the day for it. It's rainy, it's cold. The bean dip is happening. So all you need is a nine ounce can of Frito's bean dip. You need some shredded cheddar or Monterey Jack cheese whatever you prefer. You also need a packet of regular taco seasoning, some hot sauce, Tabasco, or whatever you have kicking around. We have this Louisiana's Pure Crystal Hot Sauce. I don't know, Mike picked it. You also need an eight ounce brick of cream cheese, which I have here, and sour cream. You basically mix it all together, you top it with the cheese, you bake it in the oven, it gets bubbly, you eat it with tortilla chips. Ta-da. I'm going to add most of the ingredients to this bowl, mix it up, pour it all into a nine inch baking dish and bake it. This is the part that might look a little off putting, a little bit like wet cat food. Also sounds like wet cat food, Jesus. Probably best not to look at it. So Emma had made this a few weeks ago on her Instagram and I found it on familyfreshmeals.com and it's called, what is it called? Bean dip, how funny. One package of taco seasoning, yes. Yes, ma'am. Sodium City. Okay, um, it's looking like this, which I think is how it's supposed to look shake up my hot sauce. I'm gonna do, I don't know, I just poured some in there, like this. Sprinkle on the cheese, bake until bubbly. Holy shit, this couldn't be easier. This is way too much for two people, but alas, here we are. 
Okay, so fun fact about me is that I absolutely love beans. Even though they hurt my stomach, I still eat them. And in fact, when Mike and I were in Austin, I found this hatch chili bean dip. And even though it was considered a food item and it was unopened in my carry-on, they confiscated it from me at security. And so I've been real sad ever since. Yes, I could buy bean dip or make my own, but that one was special. So here it is in my pan, smoothed out. I'm not gonna use too much cheese. So here she is in all of her glory. I'm about to pop her into the oven, 350 degrees until bubbly. It is still very much early in the evening, but I'm already in bed, which you probably cannot tell. Yes, it is 8.05 and that is because it's Sunday night. I know that I have a very busy week, so I just want to get my rest tonight. I have done my normal skincare routine, my nightly skincare routine. Caitlin and I filmed a video a couple of weeks ago about our wintertime routine. So if you're interested in that, I can link that below. And um, in that video, I forgot to show you the lip balm that I use every night, and that is the Biosance Rose Vegan Lip Balm. It nourishes and visibly plumps lips. I think that it does a really nice job. I wouldn't say that it's my favorite lip balm of, of all time because I think that spot is reserved for the Kiehl's Butter Mask for Lips. I absolutely love it. It's also in a pot like this, whereas this one's a little bit more slippy and glossy looking. The Kiehl's version isn't like that. I think this is perfectly hydrating. It's just, it's just not my favorite. I like it. It does a great job. So I put that on. I'm getting ready to read my book which my current read of the moment is Christmas Shopaholic. I used to read all of the Shopaholic books when I was in college. And so I think it's been, I think I read nine years since Sophie wrote a new book for the series and it just came out in October. So I'm about finished with that. And if you're curious about other wintertime or holiday themed reads, I did write an entire blog post all about the books that are on my list to read this December. So I need to get cracking if I'm going to finish all of them because I think I said a kind of I think I set a pretty lofty goal. And then the last thing I do before bed lately, as in probably the past three weeks, pretty religiously, I've been taking these Hum Mighty Night vitamins. Is it a vitamin? It's considered a dietary supplement, but it, ha it helps overnight cell renewal for your skin and body, but it also helps you sleep. And that's because it has valerian root in it, uh, ceramides, CoQ10, ferulic acid and valerian root and this was sent to us by octoly and hum so thank you for that uh this isn't sponsored i just am letting you know how i've been getting along with it and i have to say that i lately as in i don't know the past three or four months i've been waking up at ungodly hours of the morning 3 30 or 4 a.m and i'm ready for my day i can't fall back to sleep I'm going to bed at the normal hour. I'm doing all the things I usually do. I haven't noticed any patterns other than probably stress, honestly. So when I saw that the Mighty Night supplements were listed on Octoly's website, I requested them because, because I watched a video from a sleep doctor who suggested that valerian root was far better for sleep than melatonin. And something I read, I'm not sure how true this is, said that if you take melatonin, it can kind of alter your body's natural melatonin. So uh, I think valerian root is the preferred supplement to try. I mean, I don't want to take, I, I can't take something like an Ambien. I'll be a lunatic, I already know it. I can barely take Benadryl without feeling like I'm absolutely drunk. But I wanted to let you know that I have really been liking them so much so that I think I will buy a bottle even when this free bottle runs out because I do notice a difference. I feel like it very easily and um, naturally kind of encourages me to fall asleep and I don't find myself waking up in the middle of the night. And I also, which I think is most important, don't feel groggy or too sleepy when I wake up because I do know that some people who take sleeping pills complain that they wake up feeling even more tired or groggy or drunk when they wake and that's not something that I want. I want to feel as if I just had a great night's sleep naturally and so I think that maybe taking a supplement like this could be very beneficial if you too are having 
you know, insomnia issues. It's not so bad that it's every day for me, but I have been taking this, like I said, pretty religiously for three weeks. I haven't noticed anything like with regard to the overnight cell renewal. I don't feel like my skin looks any different. Renewal overnight, wake up bright. Mighty night helps support skin cell turnover while you sleep. Scavenge free radicals, boost sleep quality and improve skin tone. It's formulated with ubiquinol, the most absorbable form of CoQ10 to give your skin and body the ultimate renewal. It's a dream come true. It's gluten free, it's vegan, there are no artificial colors or preservatives. Oh, and it's sustainably sourced. So you just take two of these before bed. I take it about 30 minutes before I'm trying to fall asleep. And again, I, I don't have anything bad to say about it. They've been great. So thank you to Hum and thank you to Octoly for that. So that's sort of my night routine. I typically like to come up to bed, not quite this early, but usually earlier than Mike because I like to have a little bit of alone time where I can just sit in the quiet, maybe put some music on my phone and read my book. So thank you for hanging around with me on this lazy Sunday. I do feel like I was kind of productive. I did have lofty goals to maybe get my Christmas tree or start decorating our house today, but neither of those happened, which is fine. I will just hopefully get it done tomorrow because I'm not going to have time Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to do it. And I really just want to get my tree up. I feel like this is the latest I've waited. It's certainly the latest I've waited to decorate my house. So absolutely trying to get that done tomorrow. I will of course show you if I make any good progress with the holiday decorating. I like to see people's trees and their ornaments and how they decorate. So thank you again for watching. I hope that you're having a great December. I hope that your Thanksgiving was wonderful. And if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, all the things we always ask you to do. It really does help our channel. And you know, Caitlin and I feel like this time of year, I think I posted this on Instagram today that we're very much like Santa this time of year because we're extra busy. Uh, we balance our real jobs and I feel like we really try to crank out even more content than normal in December just because Vlogmas is a thing. And last year we tried to do the 12 days of Christmas, which was a video or a blog post every single day. And it's a lot of work, you know, to balance with friends and family and other commitments that we have on our calendars. So we definitely appreciate any support that you guys lend to us, whether it's a thumbs up or a comment or you sharing the video with your friends, we genuinely appreciate it. And we have so much fun doing this. So thank you for making it fun and for making us want to come back every single day or every single week to say hi. Uh, I hope you guys are having a great night and thank you for tuning in to Vlogmas day one, I guess, officially. Wow. That it's been a whole year since I've said that. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.